on BBC Essex. And we're looking up at the skies at the moment. So I absolutely am fascinated by the sky and Everything that's up there it makes you feel tiny, makes you feel insignificant, almost makes you feel like, wow, I'm part of this just enormous thing which is up there and things are flying around. And we're talking about a green comet that hasn't been seen since this Stone Age and you can see it over the next few nights. Oh, incredible. David Glozine joins us now. He's an astrophotographer from Southend. He has captured some absolutely stunning pictures of the night sky from Essex. Very pleased to say he joins me now. David, your pictures are amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> what type of, I mean, I'm looking at all the gear you've got behind you. That is some gear, isn't it? Can you can you go through this? Tell us what you've got. Sure. Uh, so I've been using some you know, astro dedicated and uh, equipment. And I, I started, to be honest, with a simple camera and, uh, and a tripod, to be honest. And if you want to start in astro photography, it's all you need, actually. However, if you want to look a little bit further down, you know, capture those deep space objects, you would need uh, a slightly better equipment, if you like, a special device which can rotate your telescope or camera according to air rotation. And because in astrophotography, the more light you gather, it's the, it's better. The more accurate pictures you're going to get. They're just uh, unbelievable. And what got you into taking these kind of pictures in the first place? Sure. Uh, to be honest, I was, always was mesmerized by ast astronomy and things we can we can uh, we cannot see in the night sky. And uh, even when I was a, a little boy, I had my little telescope and I was gazing. Uh, trying to find those objects out there and uh, so, some of the things I've seen in, on, the, on the television and in, in the special atlases and so uh, I was always wondering why I can't see it and since I was actually drawn into photography I came across a, a term called astrophotography which is combining the knowledge of, of the night sky with the photo photographic uh, equipment and, and techniques uh, so I've, I've, I've joined both together and uh, yeah I was I was drawn straight away into it. I mind have come out all blurred if you say you don't need a you know, a, a real special camera, but they would just all come out all blurred. I wouldn't even know what I was looking at. That's the problem. <laughs> Well, it's, it's actually easy. This day is actually easy to, to get into. You got special uh, maps. You can acquire special apps which tells you in which direction to look. And so, and even just just joining some some astro groups, there are a bunch of friendly people who can help you to you know to, to get started. Well, you've t you've managed to get one of the comet as well. I see. That's correct. The most recent one, yes. <laughs> That's quite incredible. How do you even know where to look? It's, again, it's going back to you know to following the the, um, the, the announcements, the knowledge of, of the night sky as as well. Uh, so it's obviously moving very fast across the sky. Uh, I would say now now is the best time to to try to find it. Um, I think the closest pass next to the air will be around first of February. Uh, obviously, weather dependent. So I'm really do hope and hope to 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 capture it again. Um, Mm -hmm. And these, some of these pictures I'm seeing, are they of the Milky Way? Is that the Milky Way there that's stretching right across the sky? These yes. th millions of, 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 do you know, it frightens me though. It frightens me. It I, can't, I can't take it in. Yeah, I've got exactly the same feeling. You know, all the stars we see is just a small portion of the, of the stars from our own galaxy. And what's interesting about those stars is most of those stars have own planetary systems. Very, could be very similar to our own as well. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's frightening at the same time. Do you ever think, like I, I think, where does, is, is, there an, is there an end? How can it just go on in, in infinity? Is, is it on anything? Is anything holding it up? And, and we talk about black holes and things. Yes. Oh, oh, you, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it's the greatest mystery of life. Just I'm sure we're not alone out there. It's just, uh, to me, it's just mathematically impossible. It, it's, Maybe someone's actually looking at our own galaxy and our own Milky Way thinking exactly the same. That could be it. And when you see our Earth from pictures when, you know, they've gone to the moon, they've gone even further, they've sent this thing to, to Mars and it's taken yeah. pictures. Our Earth is, it looks really different because it's so beautiful and blue because it's got so much of it is covered in the ocean. And I haven't seen another planet anything like that. Do you think there would be? I mean, would it suddenly be go, hang on here when they get some Something strong enough or if they get to Mars and start looking even further away and spot something that's blue like our Earth. 
for other people from, you know, if there were other worlds, they must go like, lordy, lordy. Yes. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. Uh, we have a space telescopes who actually make a prediction about those Earth-like planets. And there are a couple of really good uh, and planets which, uh, you know, according to science, could potentially hold life as well. Uh, but even if we within our own solar system, I know we couldn't find anything on the Mars, not yet. But some of the moons of, of Jupiter, or, uh, for example, or Saturn, they are very promising. It's just a matter of time, I guess. Really? So, so they'll be there. And you'll keep looking, won't you? Oh yeah, I shall. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love your pictures. Your your. How do we find them? How how do my listeners have a look at them? Do you have a website or a, or a, what? A Instagram? What what are you on? Uh, yes, I'm on, on all the pre, pre, most uh, significant social media. So website davidphotography.com or David David G Photography on Instagram. And um, so yeah, absolutely, you can follow me over there. David, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely fascinating. Thanks for having me. Keep doing those pictures. They're amazing. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you very much. And I think we're going to put David on social media with some of his pictures as well. So watch out for that. I'll tell you when it's up and running on one of one of our many uh, social sites. So I'll let you know where it is because they just, oh, my goodness, they're like posters and you can't think it's real. <laughs>